welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you're seeing of me, then welcome. My name is Sarah, and I'm so excited to have you here. Don't know why I just flung my arm out. I know this angle is not the best, but I promise I'm just gonna like enter this video and then I'm gonna move you guys to a different area. But as you guys can tell from the title, we are doing a pack with me today. I'm leaving actually in just a couple hours for a trip to Florida to visit my family. They pretty much all live there and I'm going out for Christmas. So I'm very excited. Um, I have done one of these videos before, like a pack with me before, but it was a while ago. And today's video will probably be like a little bit different because I'm bringing some holiday clothes looking over there because that's where i have some clothes set out but yeah i'll be bringing some outfits for christmas and stuff like that and i also am bringing a whole empty checked bag so i can bring like christmas gifts back up because i know i'll be needing some extra space so yeah i hope you guys enjoy like i said if this is the first video you're seeing of me i would love you to follow if this is the first video you're seeing of me, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. Uh, next video will be a travel vlog of later on today because I'm traveling today. So let's get into it. First up, I'm going to show you my luggage. So in here I have my luggage. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but I'll show you guys what's actually inside. Um, I have the same luggage that I showed in my last video. It's from the brand Away. I can link them down below. I don't actually know if they still make this color. Um, but they still make this style and stuff. So I'll link it down below. I have both the big suitcase and the carry-on one So I keep them in this white little cover just because I don't know. I feel like it just like keeps them nice, especially because they're like a hard um, Aluminum so they can get like dented up if you're not careful, which I mean, I know you're checking a bag It'll get dented, but you know what I mean. All right, so as you can tell, I have a giant dent right there from when I checked it, but it's just, if you have an aluminum suitcase, that's what's going to happen. But this is the um, big suitcase that I have. And like I said, it's from the brand Away. I'll show you a little bit about it. I'll go through this quickly in case you don't care, but you have this handle right here. You have the giant one right here that you can um, lift when you're wheeling it around. It does have four wheels that like all pivot, which is really nice. And then if I swing it around, you have two areas where you can set a code and lock it and then an extra buckle in the middle with another handle. So let me open this up. As you can tell, inside I have the carry-on. I'm going to open this up and I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, in case you're wondering, just in case like you're curious about like this actual bag, you're interested in purchasing it, whatever, um, it has a buckle right here, another one down here. This pouch has a little like laundry bag that you can take with you when you travel, put your dirty laundry in there. And then on this side, you have the divider with this part that you clip on the sides. There's two zippered pockets and then I have like my luggage tag in there. So that's this one. Now I'll actually show you this one all right just took this little cover off of the suitcase but as you can tell it's literally the exact same thing as this big version just obviously in smaller form so i have another luggage tag this handle and then the cool part about this one is that underneath this um, larger handle you have this little flap that you can open and then there's a portable like charger or like battery thing so if you have um like cords for your phone you can plug it in here and then i know this has a weird glare but you can press this button and it'll tell you how charged this is itself so it's nice because you could either keep this in you can like push it in and charge your phone right in it or you could take it out and like put it in your purse or whatever so nice to have that little option and then you also have the same locks and codes on these buckles i'm gonna open it up also i know this is on my bed we need to wash this duvet so don't yell at me that i'm putting a suitcase on my bed because we're gonna wash this anyway um so over here i actually don't even know what i have in here let's see oh i just have a backpack i will like store some bags in here sometimes but you have this exact same i don't know what this is called like partition i guess with the two pockets you can clip these into there i have some contacts in there just because i wear contacts then you have another divider with a pocket on one side and then these are packing cubes i bought them separately they're also from away but they make packing really convenient i'll go into these a little bit more in just a minute um, and then you have again the same exact thing two straps with buckles on both sides and then in here I honestly don't know what this is. Is this another? Oh, I think it's another laundry bag. So that's in there as well. Okay, I just hung up all the clothes I'm going to be bringing on this clothing rack. Um, I'm going to just like walk you through really quickly. I probably won't go over every single piece, but I'll just give you like a brief little rundown of what I'm bringing. I know you can't see, but I also have like pants and shoes down here at the bottom. 
and um, what I'm going to be wearing on the plane is also over here. I don't have underwear or bras obviously hanging here, but I will be bringing those as well. The lighting is very orange. I don't love it. So starting over here, I have a couple of nicer shirts. I have like this brown little bodysuit, this red shirt I'll probably wear on Christmas. I am going to be in Florida for my sister's birthday, so I'm bringing a couple of like nicer shirts because of that. So I have this little black bodysuit, um, a good basic. This is another option for either Christmas or my sister's birthday. And then again, we get into some more basics, this black one. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these. This is a cute little brown sweater or like I guess short sleeve sweater from Forever 21. Love that. Again, we have some more basics. This one and then I'll skip this. Um, over here I have some just like plain short sleeves. I know it's probably really boring but it's what I wear and so it just makes sense for me to just have some options while I'm there and um, know I'm like comfortable, you know. I also have this little brown uh, shirt it's like a knit kind of and then I have a hoodie this has been my favorite one recently so I'm gonna bring this I'll probably wear this on the plane haven't completely decided yet um, but then moving down here I have a pair of leather pants two pairs of jeans one black one blue pair of shorts I don't know if I'll be wearing shorts while I'm there but you know it's Florida it's hot so I have those um, one like loungewear sweatsuit and then a set for working out I don't know if I'll work out while I'm there but it's nice to have just like one option in case and if I do end up working out then I'll just wash this of course and then I have my shoes down here two pairs of heels Probably, honestly, not necessary, but they're cute, so I want to bring them both. And then I have my Metcons for working out, and then my Supergas, which I will wear these on the plane. So that's about it for clothing. I feel like I'm potentially missing a couple things, but we'll figure out while I'm packing. I am going to use those packing cubes like I showed you. Actually, this us you around. So... I have these. These are from um, Away, like I said. You can get them off Amazon. I can link a really affordable option down below that's from Amazon. That's basically the exact same thing. They're just like mesh um, fabric little pouches. And I used to think these were so stupid, but the older I get and the more like, I started actually using them, I realized you can fit so, so much more in them when you do use them because you can really like roll up your clothes and just like stuff them in. So I do recommend these. I think they're really convenient and they allow you to fit so much more in your suitcase. So I'm going to use these. I haven't figured out like what clothing I'm going to put in each packing cube because I have like different sizes. But we'll figure that out together. Also, I know I just briefly mentioned this, but I do roll my clothes for like most of them, like jeans and stuff. It's kind of harder to roll depending on like how thick those jeans are, you know? But for like basic t-shirts or even just like shirts in general, I always roll them. You can fit so much more in doing that. Um, and you can like fit them into like small spaces. You know what I mean? It's not just like folding them and stacking them. I just find that I'm able to fit a lot more. So um, yeah, all right, let's do it. I was able to fit all my shirts into like this big packing cube there's like a layer underneath can you tell I like neutrals <laughs> kind of boring but um, over here I'm gonna put this workout set just on top here which is kind of what I was saying with, with like these packing cubes this is caught but you can end up fitting so much more because you can kind of just like keep stacking up and then the zipper helps to hold everything in place um, I'm trying to think if I want to fit anything else no I think that's it for now I'll zip it up which is really hard to do with one hand hold on all right this is good i'm gonna set this over here for right now because i don't know if i'll end up putting it in there because i'm like i'm bringing that anyway i'm checking it i might as well use it and so i don't have to like lug stuff around you know what i mean so yeah i'll probably put that in there but we're gonna see I've put my shoes on this side which is like this will go on top over there just to kind of like keep them in place I was gonna put them in my like big suitcase but then they kind of like just move around I didn't really want that and then over here in my big suitcase hold on, let me move this I have these are my shirts all in the packing cube for my pants I usually don't put them in the packing cube just because like they're so big they end up taking up the whole cube you know so I have those laid on top jeans are right here and then I have my shorts other pair of jeans and leather pants loungewear suit over here and then I'll probably put toiletries or something over there I haven't decided yet speaking of toiletries I'm gonna pack those now um, I have this little toiletry bag I don't know why I call everything little it's a toiletry bag it's from crates it's 
from Kate Spade. My sister got it for me and it's really nice because you have like, it's pretty big. So you can fit, um, like you have the two pouches up here. You can put brushes and stuff up there, like makeup brushes. You have this zippered mesh pouch and then you have like this open part down below. Sorry, it's dirty. This is where I put my makeup in. So that's what I'm gonna do now. When I'm putting my makeup in here, I kind of like to like mentally go through my makeup routine whenever I am wearing makeup. So like mentally I'm going through, all right, what do I do first, next, and so on and so forth. If I'm not filming, I will like do my makeup for the day and then I will just pack each product as I use it into this bag so that I'm not forgetting anything. But because I'm filming, I already like, put my makeup back in here, not in the toiletry bag. Does that make any sense? You know, so I'm gonna go through mentally and put everything in here. I honestly kind of just like throw it all in here. I don't put my brushes up here because I usually end up putting other stuff up there, but you know, whatever works for you obviously is great. So yeah, all right, makeup first and then I'll do like skincare and stuff after. Makeup is all in here. I have like my powders and like bigger parts kind of like over here, brushes and then like the like the like pencil like things, you know what I mean? Like eyeliner, lip liner, brushes, stuff like that over there. I'm gonna put some of my skincare stuff in here as well just because it fits. So I have like my retinol cream, my eyelash serum, um, I have this intense hydration serum or whatever from First Aid Beauty. I'm just gonna like squeeze that in there. And then I would be bringing my moisturizer, but I already have one there down in Florida because like I have my own room in my parents' house, you know what I mean? So I have my moisturizer down there, so I'm not gonna be bringing this. Um, I am going to bring a headband just because I like to wear it while I'm like washing my face. It makes it just easier. And then I'm also bringing my SPF. This is a tinted SPF. I actually just started recently using this and I love this. So if you need a new one, I highly recommend this one. It's from CeraVe. It's their hydrating mineral sunscreen. I know that's not what this video is about, but I love this. So I'm gonna stick that in there as well. I don't know how big this is. It's 1.7 fluid ounces. So I think you could take this in a carry-on, but I'm gonna be checking this anyway. Um, I think that's pretty much it. A few more things also, I would be taking a razor, but I already have one in Florida. And then same thing with um, like makeup remover and face wash. I have that already in my bathroom in Florida. So if you're wondering why I'm not packing that stuff, that's why. If I were packing that, I like to err on the side of caution in the sense that I would like put it in a Ziploc baggie just because if it leaks, you're kind of screwed. And that's like the worst thing ever. So um, yeah, I would recommend putting it in a baggie just to be safe, but I'm not packing that like I just said. Sticking the rest of my toiletries in this little bag. Um, the clips and stuff don't really need to be in here. Oh wait, one more. Um, but I have my, uh, what is this, heat protectant and then my perfume. So I am gonna stick those in here, zip this up, and then I think we're done with toiletries. Okay, now moving on to my carry-on. I have this backpack, it's from Michael Kors. I got it so many years ago. I think at like TJ Maxx or something. It was not that expensive, but I love using a backpack because obviously, in the backpack so you can just like throw it on your back walk through the airport and you're still hands-free um i do also like to have my what is this called i think it's the lululemon belt bag i wear it kind of like across my like body as like a fanny pack almost i'll even wear it like this sometimes but i do love this because it's nice to have like my wallet and my phone um like right in front of me so that i can easily use it for like security and just in general so i like to have this if for some reason like you know how you're only supposed to have like two bags when you board the plane sometimes i'll like stick this in my backpack um if like they're being giving me a hard time or if i just don't want to wear it anymore it's nice to have both options so for my actual carry-on i have my laptop and um ipad i do editing and stuff on my laptop obviously and just like normal internet browsing <laughs> and then i have my ipad well, actually this is Yusuf's ipad my ipad stopped working but i have this ipad so that i can do my thumbnails because i use procreate to those so i'm slipping those in this little like laptop sleeve in my backpack and then i have this pouch which has all of my like electronic stuff so i'll take it out real quick and show you although you probably don't care um first i have this little dongle because i have the macbook where it only has the USB-C like plug so i have this so that i can use other things with it like the usb um hdmi stuff like that i'm not using an hdmi cord on the plane but you know what i mean um i also have a phone charger for my iphone and then i have my camera charger or camera battery charger and an extra battery so i put that all in here i'm also going to throw my airpods in here and then i have this little case which has my extra sd cards i don't know if i'm going to be filming while i'm in florida maybe like one video but i have this just in case 
And then I also have this, which is an SD card reader for my laptop. So many like little converter things you need, it's ridiculous. Um, and then I have my, what is this called? Oh, external hard drive. This is by the brand La C. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I love this thing. You can like run over it by a truck and it's like fine. Not that I'm doing that, but it's a good one. So I'm gonna stick that on here. It barely fits, um, but it does. And then lastly, I have like headphones that have a cord or like that have like the headphone jack so that A, I can either like watch something on the plane and plug this into the seat, or um, if I don't feel like wearing my AirPods when I'm editing, I can plug these directly into my computer. So it's nice to have that option. And then that was the last step. Last step is my laptop charger. So I will have that as well, which honestly, this isn't gonna all fit in here, but um, I'll fit as much as I can. I'll probably take my uh, camera charger, like camera battery charger out because I'll probably be, I kind of want to stick that back in the wall before I head out. All right, that's looking good. I kind of just like loosely throw that in here, honestly, because it's all in a pouch. I don't really care. Um, I didn't also fit my laptop charger in there, so I'm going to stick that in another pouch as well. Sorry, you can't see me. Should I go down? There we go. That's better. Um, this I'm going to keep out for right now because I'll probably just like throw this on and then put it in my backpack later at the airport. I also have some extra masks, just good to have, you know, very needed right now. I'm gonna stick that in this front pouch. Um, I also have a protein bar I'm gonna stick in there. This is the Nugo dark chocolate chocolate chip protein bar, it's really good. I'm gonna stick that in the front pocket as well. And then last up, I have my sunglasses. I don't really need these in my carry-on, but I always just put them in here because um, A, when I like get to Florida, if it's sunny, I have them like readily available. They're easy to pull out and they just don't get crushed in my bag. So that's gonna go in there. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything else. Um, I think that's definitely it for my carry-on. I think we're looking good over here. I don't know if I updated you on my big suitcase. So let me show you. So I showed you the clothes that we have in here. I also stuck my curler in here. I'm not bringing a straightener because I can just use my mom's toiletries and like makeup and stuff went over here. And then I have the bagged stuff over here. Um, also, random little like thing that I do. This is like an old pill or like medicine little bottle. What's written on here isn't what's actually in there, but I put my daily vitamin, my probiotic, and my, um, oh, skincare med that I take all in there. So that's all in like one little small bottle and I know which one is which. So, I mean, if you don't know that I wouldn't do this because obviously you're not gonna have like the medicine instructions, but it's nice to have it all together. Oh, and I also threw my glasses in there as well. Over here, I've kept out my plain outfit. So I'm gonna wear this um, zip up hoodie. This is just like a plain black short sleeve, um, but I like to have both in case I get cold or hot on the plane. I'm gonna wear my Supergas and then these leggings that I'm wearing right now. I have everything over here. I think I'm good. I have my big one, my belt bag, my small carry-on, and then my little backpack. I'm sure potentially I'm forgetting something, but it is what it is. I have like a bunch of stuff from my parents' house, like a toothbrush, in case you're wondering why I didn't bring that. That's there, and I can always like grab anything I miss. So I think we're done. Which means I'm going to end this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know how long this was or how short it was, so hopefully like it was an okay length. But yeah, I enjoyed packing with you guys. I hope you all have a really special and healthy and safe and a loving holiday season. Christmas is tomorrow. I No. Christmas is today when I'm posting this. I don't know. It's right around here. So hope you all have a great Christmas if you celebrate. And again, if this is your first video you're seeing of me, then stick around, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.